His god is skill of like cinematic storytelling. He's the master in 3D rendering. That's so cool. I wonder how he's doing it. I think this is the whole point of using 3D scanning. Welcome to our giveaway showcase number two. All right, so for the first one in our showcase this week, we got Nathalomu. Nath, I'll just call you Nath, all right? Wow, he's got a dragon statue, is it? Yeah, I got a chair. I see the chair. I love the transition and the way he made the camera movements. It's really cool. I think this is the whole point of using 3D scanning in our daily life. For example, if we go to a museum or amusement park, turning them into 3D models, they're darn cool. And let's move on to the next. Hey, Voxen has dropped a video here titled Gundam Defending the Station. That already sounds really interesting. Let's see. Oh my god. It's got this animation thing going on. Is it Gaussian? Whoa. This is definitely Gaussian's plotting and it can be broken into pieces. That's that's so cool. I wonder how he's doing it. So basically he combined the motion with the Gaussian's plotting and then he does some sort of physics he can break. The uh Yo. And even the uh, the background, the museum, his is also 3D Gaussian captured. I think this is so cool. He's definitely put a lot of amount of work on it. For Gundam model, I use multiple scans. Let's check out his models. But that's really good scan. I mean, look at our Gaussian plotting to mesh, guys. Originally, if we think about traditional format to do mesh scan, that is photogrammetry, right? It would really struggle on these kind of plasticky surface because plastic surface sometimes are very minimal in color. They normally have one color and they have a really shiny and smooth surface, which is nightmare for photogrammetry. And also, if you look at this kind of sword, you see how thin it is? Like before, like photogrammetry would be really hard to capture the thin parts. But with the 3 dgs to mesh, this is the perfect specimen to showcase what our 3 dgs mesh can do comparing to traditional photogrammetry. Very nice job, very nice job, Boxen. All right, so we got weird Tarkad. Oh. Oh my God, it's like a fluffy toaster. Yeah, I mean, although it looks simple, but Actually, there's a lot more done to it. For example, you see there's a flexion of the plushie on the plane. So you gotta make the plane reflective. And then this toast that's jumping out, then you have the spinning animation. There's a lot more done to this short animation. Really, this is definitely weird, but it's kind of satisfying to watch. All right, we got Mr. Funny Sheep. Mr. Funny Sheep has been a longtime Kira user. I know him. Um, it's very unfortunate that the crazy reflections are nearly invisible on the 3 dgs I tested with other apps. They didn't seem to have any problem capturing. I know what it's talking about. I can explain that later. It probably has something to do with the way algorithm processes the footage, definitely. Okay, yeah, this is pretty much have all these kind of shiny scale. Let's see what the 3D model looks like. The 3D capture is really cool. It captures all the detail. You can see like every single shiny kind of pieces stitching for the hat. This is really cool. But like Mr. Funny Sheep said, there's no crazy glittering reflection on the hat. So what's going on? There's a parameter in 3D Gaussian plotting called a spherical harmonics. What this parameter does is that it represents the reflection of the object from different angle you're seeing the 3D model. In the original 3D Gaussian plotting algorithm where everyone else has it, basically the parameter is there. But in Curie Engine, we um, purposely remove the spherical harmonic from our 3D Gaussian plotting file. Why? It's because without a spherical parameter, like we found our file size to be at least half the size of the original 3D Gaussian plotting. For example, this hat is definitely the extreme scenario where everything is reflected. But for most of the object that we found in our real world, we just noticed that with or without the spherical harmonic just don't really make too much differences. But we need to double our file size to include that parameters in the 3D Gaussian plotting. So we were like, okay, we're just gonna get rid of it so that our file size can be minimal, so it can load faster, it can distribute faster, and share with other people with ease. Yeah, that's, that's the way it is. 
All right, and the last one we've got Enormous. So Enormous, he's our all-time favorite user, and I think he won something from last giveaway. So hey, Enormous, good to see you in this giveaway too. So let's see what the video is. Wow, what is it? It looks like some kind of... I don't know what is it, it's so cool. Is it an actual statue or something? Oh my god, I love it. I was wondering how he made it. So I scanned different models, myself and my friends and objects, then assemble them into a cinematic sequence. Oh my god, like, yeah, this is so cool about Enormous. He's got a skill of like cinematic storytelling. He's the master in 3D rendering. Can you imagine 3D print this thing and put it on your table? Someone should definitely do it, man. Like, this is really cool. Look at this. Alright guys, that's it for today's giveaway showcase, and I'll see you guys on the other side.